Krista's nomination plea shakes up the house, and we learn the rules for the next Head of Household competition. Now on Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea. Hello, I'm Andrew Shevsik Moonves. Welcome to Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea. It's day 43 inside the Big Brother Cheesecake house, and this week Caitlin is the head of household. She nominated Krista and Rhonda for eviction, but Jonathan won the golden power veto and chose to use it to save Rhonda from the chopping block. Caitlin chose Amy to, uh, to be Rhonda's replacement, which means tomorrow either Krista or Amy will be the sixth person evicted from Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea, and we'll have to drown out of the underwater house. But Krista's speech did, and we'll get to the rules to the head of household competition a little bit later. But first, Krista's speech, uh, it did um, cause a bit of a, an argument, finally. So there was a little bit of uh, tension as I'll read the, the bottom of Krista's uh, speech and then I'll say what happened after that. So here we go. I haven't backstabbed anyone, and I haven't made any moves, so if you save me from the chopping block, then there is a chance the house can evict someone who has been working behind the scenes with several people and who no one should feel comfortable trusting because this person's word is not reliable. Krista, would you like to name that person who is working behind the scenes with several people and who no one should feel comfortable trusting because this person's word is not reliable? Thank you for asking in the group chat, Jojo, instead of digging around in private. Andrew has made it pretty clear that there are several alliances and people working behind each other's backs. Obviously, Rhonda and Lynn are two people who I think everyone is aware of, but I have a, bu a hunch Alvin is someone who is involved in a series of plans. Wow, Krista, that's a big assumption you're dropping here. Aren't you the one sitting on the block right now? You just made my vote, so you stay on the block easy. Also, you choosing that pick of Heath Ledger should be a reason for you to go home. Huh, Krista, no mac and cheese for you. I was with you in the trench, and, and Lynn was not a member of the trench. I told you I was still interested in working with you, and you never replied to me. That was October 30th. Since then, I have been floating by myself. I don't believe I'm a threat to anyone. Ah, oh, Krista, guess this is why you didn't want to tell me you were talking about. Can't have a conversation without people thinking you are after something. Come on, that picture of Heath was great. There's nothing sexier than a smile, and his was enough to make you melt. Lynn, you only message me when you are seeking information, which pretty much confirmed my suspicions this evening that you are selling that info to anyone willing to buy. Where did you get an idea like that, hon? Nobody likes you. That's ridiculous. Did not have to send you this if that is your theory. Why did I have asked a few other players to send me a photograph of their fake pet or significant other or what have you? Anyways, I'm looking for a mix of people I know to put on Christmas decorations. And Rhonda, well played with the whole vote me out everyone so that Adam can keep playing bullshit. If that was true, then how come you're still in this game? It seems like you have had a few more things going for you than you let on to Adam. How would you how would me telling you any of this information help me? What do you have to share with me? Why would you say this? And what did I answer? Just conversation. Lynn, it's a classic strategy to make a target feel less threatened by people by telling them that by telling them people like them, so there's that. Well, I'm so glad I didn't use my beat on you last week. And if you're gonna try to blast people here, weren't you the one who said you were closer to Adam than Rhonda, then proceeded to vote Adam out? Oh, so I'm a good strategist now? Honey, you might want to reconsider who you're working with, because they themselves are probably the reason why you're on the block. Uh huh. And yeah, I called you out on your bullshit. So you backtrack to make it seem like you actually care about something other than game. Yes, Lynn, I'm saying you're a good strategist because I've named you as a threat for all of the above reasons. Interesting that the people I'm saying have all felt the need to defend themselves so vehemently. Well, why would you some name someone you didn't name them? Well, why would someone you didn't name defend themselves? Duh. I was about to say the same thing. 
Krista, Adam, and I both agreed to not use our flipper. We agreed to let the vote speak for themselves. We did not use our flipper. It truly was okay if I got evicted, but I was also grateful that I didn't get evicted. You're something else, Krista. You call people out and don't expect the persons to defend themselves? That was kind of like Joanne last year. Sorry. Um... Uh, Alvin, I knew you wouldn't have used the veto for me last week, so it's no big deal. I'm mostly suspicious of you because you've been on the right side of every vote. And you're singling me up because? There's so many names here you can name, but you chose mine. Didn't you also ask me if we can work together? But I mean, I guess you only asked when you were on the block. Well, going by that statement, everyone should be named. No, I expected defense, but not so much. If you feel confident in your alliances, then why have such strong reactions? Why not just play off what I'm saying is nonsense? Perhaps someone has a guilty conscience. Because I don't have an alliance, Krista, so I'm defending myself. And okay, Rhonda, if you and Adam promise not to use your flippers, that means two people who... Let me reread that in the tone she was trying to say. And okay, Rhonda, if you and Adam promise to not to use your flippers, that means two people who were not part of the vote used theirs to make sure Adam went home. Why would anyone do that? No, because you have no idea if I have an alliance. It's called Big Brother, honey. And how did we know it wasn't you who used it? I have no idea who or why. All I can be positive about is that Adam or myself did not use our flipper. One could argue that you're working with an alliance as well to get Adam out. I mean, you legit voted him out. Everyone did. You don't know if I did. The number said we all voted him out. It was 9-0. So why are you trying to call people out and make it sound like it's their fault Adam got voted out and you yourself you have got a possible mastermind and everything. So you're acting like you're not a fat one, really, you are. Now, now that one I wish was me. I made no secret that I would love to see Adam gone. I think I was the only one that wanted to keep him, but I had no vote. That was the end of that. So, finally some drama. Uh, I think Jonathan not using the veto on Kristen, using it on Rhonda, gave Krista a lot of insight as to what's been happening uh, in the last couple weeks or so. But, it's now time to get to the next Head of Household competition. Free from the threat of eviction, the Head of Household wins the perks of his or her private HOH bedroom and bathroom, a letter from home, fruit, a fruit basket without citrus, and the responsibility of nominating two of his or her fellow house guests for eviction. And the winner of this Head of Household competition wins the Pink Properties, St. Charles Place, States Avenue, and Virginia Avenue, the Pink Properties, in the Monopoly board game, which will be used in a future Monopoly-based Power Veto competition. And, in addition, the winner of this Head of Household also wins two things. Actually, I just thought of one right off the bat. Uh, the first thing that they win is a special advantage, which will be revealed next Monday, which will be Monday, November 18th. So once again, the head of household wins a special advantage Monday, November 18th. And whoever wins head of household this week is guaranteed to make the top nine, which means they are the first official guaranteed house guest to make jury. So if you win this head of household, you're guaranteed to be sitting on the jury. And of course, when we get down to final two, whoever is evicted, once we get from nine to two, those seven people will consist of the jury, which will choose the winner of Big Brother Cheesecake 3 under the sea, which Lynn said is not fair, but that's the game. Okay, this head of household competition is called Big Brother Blue Jay. It is a brand new, here's how it works. It is a brand new competition never before used in Big Brother Canada or US, but I will admit I got the idea from my friends Kevin and Aiton, and Aiton uh, won, uh, or Aiton was on Big Brother, Big Brother Cheesecake 1, he finished in ninth place. Uh, they have their own backyard Big Brother version, and so the concept for this game came from them. Uh, their, so all credit goes to them. Their first head of household competition in every season of Big Brother is one where you have to hold your hand out and balance a cup filled with water. Now, obviously, we can't do that here. But this blue jay, which is made of glass, I'm going to rest it tomorrow on my wrist. Like such. My wrist must be all the way out, not bent. My hand cannot be bent. It is your job to determine... Two seconds! Two seconds! How many seconds I can keep the blue jay on my wrist? Whoever is closest without going over will win the become the new head of household. 
because I don't want to be biased, obviously, you are going to be sending your messages to Ashley. Ashley, I entered into the house, or Ashley, the doorbell rang, she came into the house. You will privately message Ashley with your guesses in seconds as to how long I can hold the Blue Jay on my wrist. Uh, Ashley will then message me with the amounts that are, she'll message me them in, in order from least to highest. Uh, then I will conduct the competition, and she will tell me then afterwards who said what, so that there's no bias whatsoever. Uh, in the event of a tie, because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to say low, low numbers after that shit show. In the event of a tie, um, the house guest who submitted their response first will be the new head of household. Uh, I think that's about it. So thank you, Kevin Aiton, if you're watching for the house. That's where I got that idea from. Okay, with that said, who will be evicted from Big Brother Cheesecake 3 Under the Sea, drown out of the Big Brother Cheesecake House, and lose their shot at the $300 Cheesecake Factory gift card? Krista or Amy? Watch tomorrow, and we will crown a new head of household. I'm Andrew Stefsik Moonbez. Take care, we leave you as we each drop on the house guests. Good night.